Glory to Galar. Papers, please. A Keep in the Town is a song from the soundtrack of Pokemon Black and White on the Nintendo DS. It's the theme of Fenerio and Unova called, well, A Keep in the Town. Fun fact, it's named after a cloud. The song was composed and arranged by Shota Kageyama, who did the other town tracks as well. Now, A Keep in the Town has the property of instrument editions, speaking to a pianist and a drummer in the town as the piano and drums the song, respectively. This song was then taken and edited into the Furt Walk theme. Kind of. Because the in-game version is, ironically, not the actual one that was used in this video. It's actually a remastered version of it by SoundCloud user Rikora. Thus, future memes emulating the Furt Walk meme occasionally use this particular version, however the original is still used probably by people who are either unaware that this video contains a remastered version or people who don't care or for some other reason. The most significant version spawned by this meme that was then used by other people is the one with lyrics by YouTuber Rec D, who added lyrics over the remake. Okay, if you haven't realized yet, the story of Akumla Town is really the story of Furt Walk, so I'm just going to use the two essentially interchangeably so I don't have to spend hours trying to apply it in the script. For the uninformed and unenlightened, our story begins with the development of the Generation 7 game Pokemon Sun and Moon. The developers created walking and running animations for all of the Pokemon. All of them. And then promptly didn't use them. Regardless, by using the Pokefinder, people obtained the animations and put them onto YouTube. Now, these animations were entertaining. Corsola is just walking around, Wimpod scrambles along, etc etc, there's a lot of fun animations there. Furritz was in particular quite cute, looking and go. So YouTuber Narpy decided to take the animation and edit it to Accumulatown, or rather the remastered version, and whoops, that's a lot of views. Naturally, we have our standard hour long groups and such that, that come with a video that blows up. Later on, this meme developed into what is essentially the adventures of Furt. Furt could walk around the world or some relevant location like Area 51. Our friendly Pokemon could also walk for several hours in multiple locations, perhaps taking a walk in some meadow or lake at night. Furt could also walk in different games or do what they need to come and say. Furt could run or I One significant version is the Furt walk streams. Originally created by YouTuber Anoith, who did a lot of Furt content, these streams feature Furt walking in various places such as an escalator. There are multiple other variants like Furt on an ice rink or Furt on a treadmill, but the main gist is that Furt walks in the given location, in this case an escalator, until the remixed Pokemon Diamond and Pearl games are released, which at that time seemed to be forever. Other community suggestions were added to the stream, and apparently there's like a whole lore for this that I'm not gonna bother looking into. This is, of course, all back to Gimlet Town. Naturally, there are some music remixes as well, which also generally deal with the adventures of Furt. Perhaps Furt could join an orchestra or murder several innocent children or bada bop bop. Of course, we have some unironic remixes of the song too. Again, all with Furt as imagery. The most notable one is likely the previously mentioned Furt Walk with Lyrics by Recti, which puts some lyrics on Gimlet Town. These lyrics talk about how Furt, despite being rather weak, can still walk. These lyrics are often mentioned in the comment sections of Furt videos, even if those videos never reference the videos directly. The lyrics video was followed by a user contributed lyric video as well as a crossover with Jevil. The song in Kim the Town generated a lot of alternate versions by itself, but it was definitely helped along by Furt's already present popularity. Furt actually already had a good deal of means backing it which were then incorporated into the Furt Walk meme and Accumulate Town by Adjacency. Take this instance, where Furt was called a ground-type Pokemon in the anime. I don't know how to connect it to everything else, it has 2.6 million views, so I thought I had to mention it. Um, enter the market double plushie. Furt has an artificial height of 5 foot 11 inches, or 0.203 world's tallest rideable unicycles. All anyways, this is because Furt's height is technically its length, and Pokemon heights in general are quite inconsistent in their measurements, which is still really long, though I suppose that should be expected from the long body Pokemon. So there were a couple of jokes about this. Furt is, for example, longer than Charizard is tall. Naturally, the market double plushie was equally large, first released in 2019. Clearly, every instance of the plushie on the net involves walk. Now, in real life, an Akimla Town is brought along the way. So even though Furts were Pokemon for 20-ish years before the meme, they're able to perfectly merge with Akimla Town and the Furt Walk meme. How? Furt is from a class of Pokemon designed to be forgotten, the regional rodents. Who remembers 
Wachog. The only ones not forgotten in this category are the ones that have some outside mean tick intervention and the Gen 1 Rotata. Take, for example, Bidu, whose descent into irony gave it its own day and take over of the franchise. This makes Bird a blank state in a way that most early generation Pokemon aren't. Bird isn't massively promoted like Pikachu or Charizard. There's really nothing much for Bird in terms of views from the audience, thus a mean like Bird Walk can easily seize the Pokemon. Birds themselves were quite compatible with this mean too. Bird is part of a large class of cute Pokemon, like Snom or Eevee, or a third of the entire cast, probably. Anyway, it's cuteness on the net does typically the edits to music. Take the This Is A Pup or Real Kiwi Hours or the Hat Kids Buck Dance, for example. Nodpe himself has made similar videos such as he. These are all a part of the constant simple but cute means and Ford fit quite easily on it. Usually these are just one-off videos, but this one in particular got quite big in terms of alternate versions. So then that gives us the question of why did Fur Walk blow up while other ones didn't? What in particular is special about Bird? Is this Pokemon some otherworldly broken being with control over all of the internet? No. Bird is a Pokemon who, as said previously, wasn't really too significant. Birds first appear on the Route 1 of Pokemon Gold and Silver. Bird and Pre-Evolution Centric collectively appeared in Route 202 of Sinnoh, Route 7 of Unova. Ironically, birds don't actually appear in Akuma Town specifically, making birds an invasive species there, and Route 6 of Cut-Off, which isn't that much. Most notably, Bird is not present at all in Gala for various reasons. In the anime, Bird appears in a somewhat important role, not in the background, twice. One is being a temporary guide, and the second being Pikachu's punching bag that is very distinctly not a ground type. So yeah, not too important. In terms of competitive, Bird has three abilities, Run Away, Keen Eye, and Frisk, the last being a hidden ability. Keen Eye prevents Bird's accuracy from being lowered, and Frisk lets Bird see what item the opponent is holding, which is convenient but not particularly powerful. Bird is consistently in the NU or never used tier of Pokemon. The various Smogun pages don't have much to say. Counters, anything that can hit fast nor hard, or worse, Raticate, Furt is fast and cute. That's the entire summary. And of course, it doesn't even exist in Sword and Shield, a title which doesn't apply to that many Pokemon anymore. So then Furt is a pretty unimportant Pokemon, so that can't be why the meme blew up. But maybe that's the point. While we may never know why Cumulate Town was chosen in particular, Given that the original creator has apparently disowned the meme and privated the original video, we can still make some guesses as to why there's so much synergy between the song and the Pokemon. Akimula Town is a song that fits the personality of Bert despite having nothing to actually do with Bert originally. I am not a music theorist, but this song feels very calming. The flute in the foreground plays a calm tune, you have that nice piano playing in the background and such and such. This was only further iterated by the first walk with lyrics by Rekka D and the YouTube comment. They all describe how Furt is content with the life of walking. Walking is a calming activity. You are just living right there in the present with not a worry in sight. If you descend into the pit of oblivion, that is the YouTube comments, you'll notice that there is a lot of comments about the song defeating depression. I know that it's the YouTube comments who aren't exactly psychiatrists, but they do have a point. At the very least, a good deal of people find this song and animation calming, restorative, and peaceful, and people wouldn't actually want to share such happiness. Also, the song's origin in the Generation 5 games helps since those are games that a lot of people on the internet have grown up with, which is why other Gen 5 songs most notably Drifail City, have also become somewhat popular. Despite how explosive it can seem nowadays, Pokemon is a very comforting childhood memory for many, and Bird is associated with that even if the Pokemon didn't play that big of a role on their actual lives. Bird's cuteness and role as an albeit minor part of people's childhood give it great synergy with the Kimula account, creating even more mean tick power. This explains the millions of views, but doesn't necessarily account for the hundreds of alternate versions. Unlike these other videos, there is a very clear way to create spin-off memes. There's not many other ways to explore, say the this is a pub clip, since what else can you do? But with Bird Walk, the idea of making them walk somewhere else is quite natural, and this is extremely easy to do as all it requires is a green screen and some keyframe. This means versions galore just because of the inverse correlation between effort needed and quantity. And again, because these versions still rely on the same cuteness of the original, these get popular as well, creating exponential growth. While this meme was somewhat niche and didn't expand too far, it did spread to many Pokemon fans with a good deal of them being aware of it. The few posts about Furt that exist will inevitably come with references to Furt Walk. The most notable Furt Walker is probably Anoy, the aforementioned originator of the Furt on Escalator stream, and a bunch of other stuff. You can also see the Furt Walk in areas that deal with video game music in general. For example, the aforementioned Rek D, 
or people like the 8-bit drummer or Kumu. It has mostly cemented itself in this area and most of the references today are from here, with most of it obviously being concentrated in the Pokemon side of things. This meme mostly blew up in 2019, since then it has sort of faded away from the scene but it has not faded away from people's memories. Any time that a Kimla town or a Furt for that matter is mentioned, it is almost always accompanied by Furt walk references. So while it was a relatively minor meme, it is still present nevertheless. The format of Pokemon walking or moving around also expanded, especially after the release of Sword and Shield's wild area, which allowed for these walking animations to be appreciated. Gen 8, Pokemon Lynx and Mr. Rhyme both received this treatment, marching and tap dancing across time respectively. Although Kimura Town usually isn't used in these means as influence through Flirt Walk is still seen throughout these videos. This is also an interesting look into the relationship between means and their accompanying songs. In this case, it's a complete merger of the two. There isn't much to say about this meme, really. It's a relatively minor meme, but I suppose Bert doesn't care. There's still a lot of people who like the walk, and that's all that matters. Also extremely simplistic, but again, that's kind of the point. All it does is be cute, but this simplicity is perhaps a welcome during a generally chaotic period of time. The peaceful walking of Bert shows that even in times of great crisis, we can all find comfort in something, and people are capable of creating this comfort for others. Though it may not be the most elaborate, it means it doesn't matter. Perhaps all we need to be happy is a little walk. And that's the Cumulative Town. Now, please excuse me while I go watch my bird on an escalator stream. <laughs> Dun 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 dun